Thank you, you know, honestly, for joining me on Honey, I'm Home. Of course, of course. I'm still new to the Zoom stuff. This is only like the second time I've been on, but not bad, right? Not bad. It's the best way to, to talk to people nowadays anyway. So um, first and foremost, I just want to introduce you. This is Crystal Rosa. She's on Wild 94.9 um, here in the Bay Area from 7 p.m. till midnight. So obviously, yep. I assume you're uh, recording your show at home nowadays. Actually, for us, there are a lot of jocks that are recording from home, mm -hmm. but they're allowing one person in the studio at a time for us. Oh, so okay. I do you can go in. You do go in then. Mm -hmm. Is it is it weird? Like, do you come in there every day and just like wipe everything down like crazy? Do you wear gloves? Yeah, there's procedures for all of us. Like, only obviously essential people are in. There's literally no one in the building, unlike like other than the jocks that are that are running their shows. Um, yeah, we have posters everywhere saying like, okay, make sure these are the procedures follow, wash your hands before you walk in, and then they have Lysol and everything for us there. We're supposed to do, obviously, before we start, and then when we leave, too. That must be so weird, because I, right now, I'm just voice tracking, and I have been for a while, so like, I don't even, it's been a while since I've actually gone into a studio in general, but I feel like that's so weird to walk in there, and there's just like nobody around, because it's usually hustling and bustling, like people down the hallways, and stuff like that so that's crazy do you do you find it hard to be on the air now because you really like don't have that much to talk about other than the pandemic yeah the first week I mean like when everything first started we were all shook and even I was like I don't know if I can handle this I don't know if I could do like, I didn't sign up for this I was like yeah. I mean I know that we we're we're here to share entertainment and to you know be fun and lighthearted and stuff but you know people like you and I didn't sign up to like you know be leaders on air of you know what's going on so it was really scary at first I was just like I don't know if I can handle this this is too much like what if I say it's something heavy, wrong right? it's heavy it's almost like you are now the voice of the government or something really deep and it's yeah weird. yeah yeah, you just don't want to put out misinformation. I think that's the most important. And you don't want to cause, I mean, it's that balance of not causing too much panic, but not being too relaxed. Yep. So my boss has been doing a really good job of, of, you know, leading us and showing us how we can adapt to what's going on. And it was tough at first, but then, then, I mean, now everyone's on the same boat. So if you, you know, I'm talking to a song from this artist, I can just see what they're up to and you know, related to us and we're all kind of on the same boat. So in terms of content, yes and no, like there's still like online beefs going on, celebrity beefs, people are still getting yeah. pregnant, you know, yeah. so there's still <laughs> some tough stuff to talk about, you know, and then I guess we can also um, put our own personal content. We can be a little heavier on that, you know, what we did today or like what I saw today kind of thing. But yeah, it hasn't, it's definitely been an adjustment, definitely a struggle at first, but I'm taking this time, I'm sure like you to you know, do the best we can and make sure that we're not, you know, causing panic and stuff. Yeah. And I mean, speaking of putting out your own content, I'm obsessed with your TikTok videos. I think they're so funny. And obviously everyone's joining TikTok. Everyone that made fun of TikTok being for little kids now is like on TikTok. Um, where I, I don't know how old you are. I'm 30. You're probably like, are you somewhere in that range? Yeah, I'm 26. I'm close to you. Okay, so you're you're a little bit younger, but still, like, TikTok, everyone thinks it's for, you know, little kids, but everyone's on it now, and everyone's having so much fun, and I think your videos are so funny, and I started watching when I was like, I need to talk to this girl, because I think you're hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I've always loved social media and stuff like that, and I think TikTok has brought a lot of us together. I think that, you know, everyone's, everyone's down with TikTok. You see the nurses and stuff doing TikToks. You see older yeah. people doing TikToks. It's fun. Like, it's just a fun, chill thing. There's not too much pressure on it. Anyone can upload. Anyone can get popping off of it. Because, I mean, I feel like TikTok's algorithm is pretty lit, you know? No, seriously. Like, it, anything's possible with TikTok. Oh, what's, what's your cat's name? <laughs> Cappuccino. Cappuccino? Cappuccino, yeah. Oh, Cappuccino, that's so cute. Oh, it's evil. I swear. Adorable. So are you, um, who are you quarantined with? Are you alone? Are you with family? Are you with somebody? Yeah, it's just me and my cat, but I do live walking distance from my family. So I see my parents and my brother. I know we're probably not supposed to, but it's well, the only people. It's, it's family. It's okay. I go from, I go from family to boyfriend. So like, I, I understand the need to want to see like the close people to you as long as everybody's 
staying safe and washing their hands, I think it's fine. It would be really messed up to say, like, you can't walk a few blocks and go see your mom and dad or whatever. Like, <laughs> yeah, that would be really messed I get jealous of you, though, because you're all booed up during this time. I know. I feel, I feel blessed. <laughs> but you have your you cat. You are. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> see, I don't have to build boy drama. I have my cat, but yeah, it's, you know, a single people are kind of going through right now, but. I, I, it's crazy. I understand because I was, I was always like the single girl my whole life. Like I, I hardly ever got into relationships. Yeah. Before. And so I'm like, now is the best time, I guess, to be in one because you're, just, you, you're bored and you can't see anybody. And yeah, you lucked out. Like your timing was perfect. <laughs> I know. I know. I feel very, very lucky. Um, but you know, I think now for, for single people, now is also a good time to just like, work on your own craft, reflect, make videos, be creative. And I think that's exactly what everyone needs to do. And I think people are going to come out of this maybe like with new hobbies, new interests, new ways of looking at life. And then it might be easier to get booed up like that because you'll be like this brand new person. <laughs> glow up. Glow up. Uh -huh. yeah, seriously. So what are you doing all day during quarantine? Like what kind of hobbies are you finding yourself getting into nowadays? <laughs> Okay, so the weeks aren't too bad, like I said, because I'm still going into work. So your girl's still slipping in late and waking up, maybe walking over to annoy my family. Um, but the weekends, like, it was this weekend where I was like, okay, I'm feeling it. I am feeling quarantine because I didn't know what to do. I, yeah, I'm, I'm coloring. Like, I, I think maybe you've been coloring. I don't know if you've seen some coloring books. Oh, wait, I'll bring it into, I have it right here. The first painting I ever made in, in my life. Yes, you did painting. Uh huh. Was this? <laughs> oh, I just yeah, it's, I've been bored. I made another one, um, and I haven't made it since those. But I think I'm gonna keep doing it. It's just something to do, like you know. Yeah, creative people. We like doing stuff like that. So drawing. Um, yeah, spending a lot of time with my family. I guess. What else have my brother and I been doing? Yeah, just kind of walking around I'm trying to do like a mile like at least once a week <laughs> run a mile at least once a week that's good no I, that's so good. Good. I, I mean you got to get outside right like you can't stay inside all day so um yeah um, there was a funny situation with my brother he was running with his son my nephew he's seven now um and my nephew was on the bike but my brother was running right and an older couple of my brother said around their 60s was walking towards them and the, the man got like really upset that my brother didn't like go around into the street, run around him. But my brother was like, I have my son here. Like, I'm not going to have my son run half into the middle of the street. Like, sir, you can social distance as well. Like, you know, things are very tense in certain places. Like, you know what I'm saying? Do you feel that vibe? Like that tense yeah, I vibe? Feel, I feel very strange because, um, I get that people want to stay far apart. I do too. Like, I'm not trying to be all up in everyone's face right now. But it, yeah. almost feel, it almost feels like people are being rude, but not on purpose. They just don't want to get near you. So they walk around you and you're like, do I smell? Or like, do I have something on my face? But it's really, I get, I understand it. I get it. So it is a little bit weird. The other day, actually, I was out on a, on a run myself, which I never did before quarantine. And um, I ran into somebody that I knew and she was like, talking to me but she was like inching closer and I was like inching back <laughs> like yeah exactly <laughs> but you know it is what it is it's, it's hard it's hard to try to be normal right now so yeah Look. it's interesting but yeah I mean at the end of the day I think even though there's a lot of stress on all of us like we're all you know kind of stressed and when is this going to be over getting a little restless um I think it's important that we, and I've seen you do it too, like try to look at the fi the silver lining and things, try to be grateful for what we do have or, you know, cause you know, there's so many other people who are just not doing okay or don't know how they're going to pay rent and stuff like that. So, yeah. I mean, there's people who have family members in the hospital or whatever. So it's like, I, every day I take it, you know, I don't take it for granted. I'm like happy that like, yeah, I know exactly. Exactly. It, it is, it's, it's okay to be human and be frustrated and annoyed at the situation, but you know, we are, we are just people. So, um, if yeah, my dad, my dad phrased that he was like, we're all on the same river in different boats or something. We're on the same ocean. We're just on different boats. And I think that's like a good way to think of it too. Like we're all in this together. Yeah. We're in different situations, but like, we're all doing this together, you know? Well, speaking of uh, getting on a boat and sailing somewhere, if you could do quarantine anywhere in the world, like you could pick a destination to be quarantined in, you're still, let's put it this way, you're still alone with your cat, but you can be somewhere else. Where would you go? 
I'm really missing my ex's spot in Seattle right now. <laughs> With or without him in it is the question. He <laughs> doesn't have to be there. It was just my spot. <laughs> like, you kick him out. You're like, hey, I'm going to quarantine here, but you have to go. Yeah, that, that would be perfect. That would be ideal for me. Yeah, maybe over there. Um, I mean, I love New York. Like, it's my favorite city, but I don't know if I would, would really want to be quarantined there right now just because. No, not right now. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, it, it's like yeah. the worst. it's the worst in the u.s isn't it there yeah what about you where would i be that's you know it's i'd want to <laughs> i'd honestly want to be quarantined like in my ex is actually no, I'm kidding. <laughs> no no yeah, i want to be in disneyland like with the rides all operating but just like yes. I would be some months. like i don't i don't that this is the perfect time where you don't want people around you don't want lines like i just want disneyland to myself um, that's never going to happen. What kind of, what kind of a Disneylander are you? Like, do you wake up hella early and are there all night? Or like, what do you, what do you do? What's your, what's your strategy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. So if I go to Disneyland, I'm going to make the most of it. Cause obviously like I live in San Francisco right now. So I, I have to, if I'm making the effort to fly there and get a hotel and do all that, like I'm going to be at Disneyland for minimum of 11 hours or however long it's open. So <laughs> yeah. I will get there in the morning and I'll do the both parks. So I'll do Disneyland California adventure and I'll bounce back and forth. Um, oh, I, you do? I'll, yeah. Why do you do that? Because, well, because I actually know someone who gets me in, uh, who works there and gets me in for free. And he, oh. <laughs> and so because of that, he can get me into both. So I'm like, I don't want him to take two days off of work because he has to get off of work to let me in. And like, he goes with me. So I'm like, I'm not going to do Disneyland one day and then make him get another day. So we just do half and half and I just do as many things as I can. Oh, but okay. Okay. I, I try to go like once a year ish, like around. Same. Um, I actually had to cancel my, my Disneyland trip. I was supposed to go, uh, ne what day is today? Oh yeah. I'm supposed to go literally next week. Um, May 5th or whatever. I had a Disneyland trip planned. So there's that. Did you have any vacations planned or anything that you had to cancel? Girl. So last year I went crazy with my PTO. So I started like the year without any, like I literally had zero hours. I'm like, shoot. So I was working, 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 and then um, to save up for PTO. And so my first trip of the year was supposed to be in Rosarito at this thing called Papa's and Beers, which is like this ratchet mess that like 18 year olds usually go to, but <laughs> here we are. Um, and yeah, I was supposed to do that. The first weekend did not get canceled. That was the first weekend. That was the weekend like before Shelter in Place actually took like into a place or whatever. So, um, that week didn't get canceled, but then the next week that I was supposed to go, like, obviously got canceled because of shelter in place and all that. So I was supposed to go to Ros Rosarito. Where else? I was supposed to go to Vegas. I was supposed to go to Phoenix. Um, I have some weddings coming up, too. Like, my cousins, some of my primas are getting married. So that that's, oh, man. Wait, are they going to have that's... to do, like, a Zoom wedding now? Uh, what's going to happen? Well, one of my primas, she's getting married in... Um, October? October, which is still a while away. Yeah, so like you're not but, next her, right? Yeah, kind of. Yes, but the um, wedding planner is saying that like they need to have a plan B, like that that they should be having a plan B. Same thing with my other cousin. She's getting married in Mexico in September. She's still trying on her dress. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know. I saw her dress, uh, like dress shopping still. So I was like, or fitting, getting a fitted or whatever. Well, that's the thing is she's like, she's excited. So like, even if she's not sure if it's going to happen, it's like, well, might as well plan for it. It sucks. I feel really bad for anyone who a had a wedding that couldn't happen. Um, B birthday. My, I'm going to have a quarantine birthday, which is really upsetting for me. Cause when is that? I, I do my birthdays big. It's June 2nd. Yeah. And so like, I'm, I already know they're not going to reopen bars and things like that, that soon. Yes. So I mean, I'm, I, it's crazy. Cause I'm used to like throwing these huge parties and these things. And I, I get really into it. I do themes and like, I'm known for the girl that really likes celebrating her birthday. So, um, yeah. do you have to do that or do, or do you not have a birthday yet? Well, my birthday was the last weekend. Like, my birthday weekend was literally the last week. And then I remember the next morning was when people were kind of, like, getting hated on for going out still. Oh, wow. <laughs> you actually, like, you were able to go out and everything before that? For your birthday? Okay, so my birthday, I, I organized a prom, like, an adult prom. 
So I got a party bus and everyone's like had their like par like prom dresses and tuxedos and stuff. So there were supposed to be 40 of us, but a lot of people started dwindling out. And then the club we were originally supposed to go to was like, yeah, we're not doing that. And then the party bus people like didn't want to give them my money back. So I was like, you guys, listen, if you guys want to come, come. If not, not. I have face masks for all of us and we can just party on the bus. So like a good 30 of my friends did end up showing up and we just partied on the party bus. So I was like really lucky that like, yes, my birthday was the exact weekend where yeah. like, that sounds, that sounds like a fun birthday though. Cause oh you, God, you, so you, you your birthday's like me where I could tell you like, you did like a theme sort of, and that's kind of what I like doing. Cause it's, it's fun. Cause when else can you, you know, do that? You know, I decided last year that every birthday going forward, because before I didn't really care, like after 21, I was like, I don't care, like I'm getting old, like this is not cute. And then when 25 came around, like I was like very confident, I had my own show, like I felt like a woman, like I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm killing it, like like this is the life that I've wanted to live for so long, you know, the radio gig, we grind for so long, and then when you're finally there, you're like, I, I made it, you know? Yeah. Well, not 100% made it, but you know. Well, yeah, so, I, I, I feel it. Oh, this is my nephew. Hi. <laughs> Sorry, you know. <laughs> so good. So um, I decided last year that, or well, 25, no, then two years ago. Oh my gosh. Wait, where am I? I'm 26. Like, what day? Oh, yeah. is last year. <laughs> I decided last year that like every year I just wanted to be around like my best friends and like do something fun. And if, you know, my friends want to show up, cool. If not, not. So yeah, that's when I like did something with like a nice little dinner, went out to like downtown Oakland. And then um, this year we did the prom thing. So that That's was cool. awesome. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna be 31 in a couple of weeks, which I feel like I'm getting there. You know, I'm getting old. But I I've always loved celebrating my birthday. I don't care if I'm like 74. I'm gonna be doing it big because it's the one time you can really get everybody together in one space like people that all from all walks of life that don't necessarily know each other and I think that's really fun so that's kind of why I'm annoyed at uh, this whole quarantine thing but I think you could still do something fun right I'm sure you have something planned I don't I don't know I mean it's like do I do a zoom party like I hate I hate zoom parties when it's one-on-one -on -one, like right now it's totally fine because like we can unhear each other but when there's a bunch of people on like 30 people on you it's just a mess it's just a mess it is because I've gone in other people's birthday Zoom parties, and I'm like, ooh, this is, like, when can I get out of here? Because I can't hear anything. I can't say anything. Like, so. Yeah, so I'm definitely probably going to have to do, like, 10 people. <laughs> I'm going to do, like, individual. I should do individual, like, schedule 30-minute slots with each of my friends. Yeah. My friends. <laughs> yeah. That's what's going to happen. Um, you think, it. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure I will. Do you think that, like, when this is over officially over like everything's back to normal that you'll be able to live your life how you did before or are you going to be extra cautious like hand sanitizer every five minutes like staying away from people are you going to be able to be normal again I think that clean is going to be like the new flex I think that people <laughs> are going to be getting like making name brand this you know antibacterials name brand that you know I think Gucci has like a face mask out like I think that the like this movement is probably going to be a thing for a very long time yeah it's going to be weird but good i mean it's good to be clean so um I, <laughs> yeah this is uh, the worst thing ever but yeah. yeah um okay so i want to do something fun with you that has nothing to do with quarantine because it's a depressing subject um i want to do trivia if you're down um yeah yeah, yeah. And, I, I, and, and you can pick the subject so literally between it's it's an automated one online so I'm not making up these questions um, okay okay between like animals literature movies music hobbies geography sport science video games like you pick what you want to do okay I'm good at I'm good at like pop culture okay so, about more, so I'll just how about I go to entertainment instead of mo movies or yeah movies. that one yeah and then there's sub categories so there's like there's like fashion, there's, there's a radio category, but I think it's probably like the history of radio. So I don't think that's good. Yeah, I'm not, I do not get that. <laughs> I could just do like a mixed entertainment, mixed, random, randomized. Okay. Okay. So again, I didn't make these up. So if any of these are weird, not my fault. <laughs> um, after okay. I read, I mean, it's a multiple choice. So after I read all four, you have about like 10 seconds until they disappear. So it's going to be pretty quick. Okay. I love trivia. That's why I do this because it's like the best thing. Okay. Number one, 
The main character in the Archie comics in Arch is Archie Andrews, a red-haired, freckled teenager who always has trouble deciding between which two women in his life. A, Betty and Veronica, B, Cheryl and Sabrina, C, Midge and Ethel, or D, Josie and Melody. And by the way, this is Riverdale, the show Riverdale. These, these characters are in that show. Oh, no, no, no. I want to go with B. Cheryl and Sabrina? Yeah. It's actually Betty and Veronica. <laughs> oh, I would not guess that. I would not guess that. <laughs> know that because I watch Riverdale. Like, I wouldn't know it. I watch Riverdale. <laughs> Great show, buddy. Okay, number two. Which sport is not included in the Wii Sports video game? Not included in Wii Sports. Is it A, golf, okay. B, tennis, C, bowling, or D, hockey? Hockey. Hockey is correct. Okay, I remember playing that when I was little. Do you have a Wii? No, but my little cousin did, so technically yes. Oh, nice. Then you knew it. All right, number three. Which of the following comedy teams are comic book or cartoon characters and not real people? A, Mutt and Jeff. B, Three Stooges. C, Abba and Costello. Or D, Laurel and Hardy. Not real people. They're not real people. Comic book or cartoon characters? Okay, can you read them again? A, Mutt and Jeff, B, Three Stooges, C, Abba and Costello, and D, Laurel and Hardy. A? A is correct. A! <laughs> A! <laughs> All right, moving on. Which, I don't know why these are about video games. Which tennis video game was originally created as a training exercise for one of Atari's new gaming developers and was never intended to be released to the public? Is it A, Computer Space, B, Pac-Man, C, Pong, or D, Odyssey? Pong. Pong? Yeah. That is correct. Good job. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> You know all the video games. I, I heard, I've heard something about that before. That like Pong wasn't supposed to be an actual thing. Like it was just an accident, and then it it's like hella fun now. That's cool. I didn't even know that. All right, moving on. All of the following are items which with which we are familiar today, but crucially, which of them made its debut to the public in New York on December twenty first, nineteen thirteen? So, which of these made its debut on December twenty first, nineteen thirteen? Is it A? mold wine, B, the crossword puzzle, C, hovercraft, or D, the paper shredder? Um, wait, what was B? B was crossword puzzle. That one. That is correct. <laughs> you know, I, I mean, know these are weird, that, that's, these are weird questions, like, that one wasn't necessarily entertain, well, I guess it's entertainment, because it's, like, puzzles and stuff. Oh, yeah. You're, you're really good. I think they started in the newspapers. Moving on. In a radio drama, there is a mystery to be solved. Robbers at a bookstore take a blind girl as a hostage, but they release her after a few hours when they feel safe. What would producers mostly use as clues to help the audience figure out who did it? <laughs> a, makeup. B, props. B, props. Sound effects. Or D, hostage. Wait, sound effects, right? Definitely, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, wait, is this like a trick question somehow? Such a weird, yeah, like makeup? What? That is so weird. Yeah. Right. Next. Which classic computer game in which you traveled west, hunted for food, and risked dying of diseases like dysentery was made into a card game in 2016? Is it A, Wolfenstein 3D, B, Mist, C, The Secret of Monkey Island, or D, Oregon Trail? Oregon Trail. Correct. <laughs> you know your games, girl. All right, next is which famous American radio character of the 1930s was introduced this way? And the quote is, who knows what evil lurks in the hearts of men? Blank knows, and blank is E, A, the shadow, B, Howard the duck, C, dark man, or D, Batman. So it's, who knows what evil lurks in the hearts of men? The shadow knows, Howard the duck knows, dark man knows, or Batman knows. Is it Batman? Incorrect. It was the shadow. 
Oh, I would not have known that. This is from the early, the 1930s, so I, yeah. I don't even know what year radio was actually. This, we should probably brush up on the radio history. I know we should know all. We should know all about this. All right. Yeah, then. I think it. I want to say the twenties. Yeah, so he was like one of the first people, probably like getting on on yeah. there. All right, uh, two more. Which fictional character who was introduced in a 1902 novel famously lost his shadow? Is it A. Homer Simpson, B. Harry Peter Conner. Pan? What? Peter Pan? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Harry Potter. Like, you know that one, yeah. <laughs> All right, the last it's one. It's, it's funtrivia.com, so you can pick like. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, the last one is, what emulsion of water in oil originally invented by the Greek physician Galen in second century Rome is used to soothe and cleanse the skin and to remove makeup? Is it A, magic cream, B, mayonnaise, C, cologne, or D, cold cream? I kind of want to say mayonnaise. Is that your final answer? Wait, wait, what is this? Okay, back in when? In the eight, like early? In the second century what? Rome. Magic cream, mayonnaise, cologne, cold cream. I want to say mayonnaise. Wait, wait, wait. There's no way that mayonnaise was back like during Rome. We're going to find um, out. It was cold cream. <laughs> <laughs> That's the question. I was like, which one am I rubbing on my eyes? <laughs> well, you got, so you got seven out of ten. That is pretty good. I'll I think take a C. I'll take a C. That's the best so far that we've done on this show. So okay. Congratulations. Are you having fun with the show? Yeah, it is. It's fun. I just, I'm just like wanting to talk to people who I personally find fun or interesting and I want to see what they're up to during quarantine because I think that everyone's so lonely and bored kind of in their own bubble. They want to know that other people are just like them, you know, like nobody's yeah. in a lavish lifestyle right now. I mean, so this is the only reason I put eyelashes on is to do the show, you know, so <laughs> it is what it is. But thank you for joining me. I had a lot of fun and um, I can't wait for all this to be over so we can like hang out in person. <laughs> yes, thank you for reaching out to have me on. I love following you and watching your stuff. You're so fun and positive. Your raps are so fun to listen to. I watch your videos too. <laughs> thank you. Is there anything that you are recording that you're currently like working on or or doing um, other than TikTok videos and your radio shows or anything else that you're doing? Yeah, I have a nightly podcast. Um, we're going on 300 and something episodes now. So it's been going for a long time. Um, that's every single night, wherever you listen to your podcast. So Apple or iHeartRadio or whatever. Um, so I have that every night coming up. Um, and yeah, it's just working and trying to keep things positive and trying to make people laugh. I think, you know, we can, we can all use some laughs. So that's what I like to share and stuff on social. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Definitely. So let people know where they can follow you, any social media that you want to promote. Cool. So Snapchat, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, it's all at La Cristo Rosas. I have a YouTube channel too that I do like whenever I feel like it, I'll vlog. So you can check me out there as well. Awesome. Well, thank you, Crystal, and uh, enjoy the rest of your quarantine. You can go pet your kitty for me. Oh my god, that sounds so dirty. Um, <laughs> I literally meant like, say hello to your cat for me, um, and I'll talk to you later. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Bye, guys. Bye, boo.